um, congratulations to, to BYU and Kalani. Um, there not, may not be a better man in the business than Kalani. And uh, love the guy. And um, as crushed as I am of how we played, I told him I was happy for him um, because he's one of the good ones in the profession. Everything was probably in good shape with two minutes left in the half, and then it snowballed and we couldn't stop it. Um, and I told the guys after the game, once that two-minute mark hit, we didn't play well in any phase. We can throw everything at, at myself and Avery, which is fine. That's We'll take that heat. But we didn't play well anywhere. Uh, didn't play well in defense in the second half. Obviously didn't play well in special teams. Didn't block very well. Didn't do anything well in that second half. And, and credit BYU. Um, we told them we, they weren't going to beat themselves. We had to beat them, and instead we beat ourselves. Yeah, how stunning is that? You're normally a team that does not do that. So how stunning was it to go out there and see that many mistakes? Yeah, um, it was It was kind of stunning to see that. And that's what we talked about in there. We're going to find out what these guys are made of um, because um, we got embarrassed, and that has not happened here with the exception of the COVID year. And um, we got embarrassed tonight. And we've got guys that love K-State and have invested a ton uh, in this program and invested a ton in this year. Um, so I'm excited to see how we respond. And, um, you know, I know the leaders will, will, will stand up. How big are those penalties in the red zone? Man, big time. We had talked before the game, turnovers, explosive plays, but one key thing was we had to keep them to field goals, and we had to score touchdowns. If you're going to beat them in this environment, you got to score touchdowns. We had chances and got knocked back, and then we had kicked two field goals. And then we forced them into a field goal the one time, and then they scored uh, after the one turnover late in the second uh, second quarter, and that was a play that um, um, we probably should have defended. So, you know, when you think of it, they have two non defensive or offensive touchdowns, the fumble return, the punt return, and then the short field, um, you're, you're not going to win <laughs> playing on the road when you have that happen. Can you pinpoint uh, a reason as to why things seemingly compounded after the, the Good question. I don't have a clue. We'll find out when we watch the film. But we, we've got we to put it to bed fast because we're going to get home at 6 a.m. and we got to get working on Oklahoma State. The lack of a consistent vertical passing game thus far. How concerned are you about that, and is it fixable? It was interesting. Um, they played a ton more cover two than we were anticipating, which took some of that away. Um, and then we finally, in the second half, got some intermediate game going. Um, we should have been able to rush the ball a little bit better against them, give them credit. I thought they played well up front. You mentioned after the two-lane game that it wasn't the best week of practice leading up <clears> to it. Was there any indication leading up to this game no, that this was coming? No, we had good prep after the big win at home last week. Uh, but, you know, as we know, in this league, the margin for error is so small. And um, our margin for error is small anyway. Uh, and it's 6-3, to three, and then every error, every error happened to us and, and ended up the score it did. What was your message to Avery after he um, we talked at halftime. I knew he was frustrated. I love the kid. He's a competitor. He's a fighter. Um, he's going to learn from everything. Uh, the offense is going to. It's again, we can't put this on Avery. Uh, I know it's easy to do, and people will pile on him, um, pile on me, and that's that's fine. We, we both can handle it. He's he's uh, he's a winner. Um, he's hard on himself. I, I know that, but. Uh, I'm looking forward to him. Uh, looking forward to him responding because I know he will because he's that kind of kid, and I just absolutely love him. Is it anything serious with Brayden Lofton? You know, it was a knee. Um, wasn't an ACL, so we'll find out in the in the coming days. One more. What, what was the hardest thing about playing here? Was it the crowd, the altitude, everything? You know what? The altitude didn't affect us really. They had guys cramping, and we didn't have anybody cramping. Um, so it wasn't the altitude. Um, the crowd was great, but we're going to play in a lot of good crowds. So we can't say, wow, the crowd. Shoot, they did what they were supposed to do, same as our crowd does. Um, we just got to be able to overcome it. And you can't when you turn the football over and you give up a punt return 
and you, you give up a couple of explosive plays you just on defense. I mean, there was not a phase that I would have said, boy, they played well. It's too bad we couldn't get every phase to play like that. We weren't very good tonight. So it's my job and our job as coaches um, to get it fixed. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you.